Hey guys, Matt from Iron Trap Garage. We're working on the free tee again. Uh, so since we've gotten some of the major stuff done, I'm now on to the kind of nitpicky little stuff that I overlooked when we first were putting the car together. It was all floppy and, and just a big mess. Uh, I kind of overlooked some little stuff and now that we're kind of getting towards making it nice, I need to come back and address that stuff. So the uh, cow, top of the cow here, we never welded it in because we still need to do some more work. So I've already begun just dusting some paint on some of the bracing and the, hoop, the hoops behind the dash uh, for supports because they're going to be hidden. Uh, now what I need to do is do a little bit more repair. There's a little spot here that I need to cut out and weld a little patch in. Uh, we started rust proofing everything with some Eastwood rust encapsulator. Then we can put the cow top on, start spot welding it, and then eventually get the firewall in and spot weld it and we can start working our way around the car. It's like a big giant model car. We can just start taking all the pieces, putting it together, and using the glue gun to stick them together. So let's get started. Alright, even with all the fancy tools that I have in the shop, English wheel, everything else, sometimes I just use the simplest of things that probably you guys have, and I know you have laying around as well. So, this needs a little bit of shape to it. Um, it's more form, it doesn't actually need to be stretched or anything, it just kind of curves around here, and I have a flat piece of metal. So, really, what you can do is just put it on a soft, sort of soft surface, whether it's a piece of wood or a tire. And we can give it a little bit of a curve, and that's pretty close, actually. So, just keep working a piece to put a curve in it that you need, and you don't need a fancy, expensive tool to make a patch like this. So, this is a cheap quick little way, don't be afraid to use something that's laying around that has the right radius you need to just bend it over, sometimes even you know, lighter than you work. So, kind of got this fit up here, so I'm going to do this first patch and uh, trim it to shape, tack it in, and then we can weld it in and move on to the next part of getting this all tied together.
All right, so got this piece welded in here. Uh, something you guys may have noticed when I was welding the patch in is it's way too tall here. It's hanging up above the door, and it's obviously too much. The reason I did that is when you're welding in a small patch, uh, it basically the heat starts to spread and you will start to blow out the edges of your panel, or it'll start to melt the top of your panel away. So by leaving it long, it'll allow you to use this extra material as basically a heat sink. So when you're welding, it'll make your life a lot easier. So now that I have it all welded in, I'm happy with it. I left the seam right here open because we're going to be cutting right there. So I'm going to take some like pinstriping tape here and I can put it right where I want it to start. There. And then I can kind of whoop, eyeball it. Wrap that around You can eyeball kind of where we want the cut line so it lines up there. So I can use that as a guide, or we can run a scribe along the bottom edge of that, and we can uh, then cut on the scribe. And I'm going to probably cut right on the tape, and then we'll sand it smooth. This is all hidden when you put the cowl on top of it, but we obviously don't want it sticking up higher than it needs to be. But that's a little tech tip if you guys are welding in small patches, leave them a little long on the edge, and you can kind of use it as a heat sink. Alright, so that was kind of the basic process of what we got to do. We got to drill holes and spot weld them to the framework and we fixed the patch on the side. Uh, good progress on this car. It is a lot more solid. Uh, I can start welding the sides of the cowl uh, to the cowl sides uh, here shortly. So uh, we're moving along pretty good. This is just the tedious little work that we're doing. Didn't want to give you guys a half an hour video of spot welding so you guys get the idea. I'm going to keep working down the sides and then we're going to get this firewall in next and we're just about ready to pull the body off of the frame uh, once this stuff's spot welded because then it'll be all sturdy and nothing's going to move or twist when we pull it off. So I'm excited to be moving along pretty good on this with uh, actually welding things together and not just making whole panels from scratch. So that's all I got for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Tuesdays we do videos on the free tea. Fridays are mixed bag or whatever's going on. Sundays are Andrew's first hot rod project, so make sure you subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you're seeing, and uh, we appreciate it. Thanks guys, catch you later.